Brake should be a hardware to ensure driving safety. But because this brake, sometimes an accident occur. One of the example, when someone drive in wet road. The brake could make the wheel slip and it has the potential to cause an accident. But we don't need to worry it. Because some car has ABS brake system. This system will prevent wheel to slip during braking. Then, how ABS system do that? Watch this video until end. We will explain with simple illustration. First, we need to discuss a factor that make the wheel avoid to slip. Slip is a condition where the wheel didn't rotate but the car still moving uncontrollable. This condition occur when the braking force exceeds the traction available to the tire. When we release the braking force, the wheel will rotate again. Because there is no force that resists the wheel rotation. When the wheel back to rotate, the tire gets back the traction. So that, the driver get to control the vehicle. That is the concept of ABS. ABS will release the braking force when the wheel slip detected. But once the tire gets the traction back, ABS will apply the braking force immediately. So the braking procedure still continued. This process occur repeatedly during the wheel slip detected. But, this process going so fast. So that we will not feel that. This is the illustration when the ABS operated. In second section, we will discuss inside the ABS system. Each components, and how it works. You can identify the ABS on a car, by this component. This is ABS pump. This component, have so many hydraulic pipe. Inside of this component, included a hydraulic pump to increase brake fluid pressure. Then, the hydraulic valve to control the pressure each pipe. And modulator, to control the hydraulic valve according to the wheel rotation. So, when we press the brake pedal, the brake fluid pressure increase. Modulator, will energize the inlet valve to close the hydraulic input path. So that the brake fluid pressure maintained in high pressure. When slip occur on a wheel, the wheel sensor will detect it. This sensor, will send a signal to modulator to tell modulator that slip occur. After that, modulator will neutralize the fluid path to that wheel. The result, wheel back to rotate. When the wheel rotate, wheel sensor will send back a signal to tell modulator that wheel has rotate. Then, modulator open the brake path, so the braking on this wheel is activated. In slow motion, the illustration inside caliber when ABS active is like this. All of this processes work automatically. So, the operation of ABS brake is same like regular brake. When we release the pressure on the pedal, the sensor will inform modulator to open the inlet valve. So that, the brake fluid flow back to the reservoir and the braking is inactivated. Maybe, you still confuse the operation to neutralize and increase the fluid pressure in short time. Watch this slowly. It is complicated. But it's okay, we will show you a simple illustration. If we disassemble the modulator, we will see too many coils, called solenoid. It function to move the valves. If you see this cores, they are the valve. So, each valve own the solenoid itself. So that, each valve can be controlled individually. In previous, we have done. When we press the brake pedal, there is an inlet valve to close the fluid path from pedal. After this valve closed, ABS pump will active in short time. So, we will see two channel with different pressure. The channel from pump to caliper has higher pressure. While the other channel has neutral pressure. In this channel, we will see a neutralized room which is equipped with piston and spring. What is their function? Soon, you'll be know. In this position, the caliper is on the braking position. Because the brake fluid in this channel is high. To neutralize the brake fluid, a valve will close the channel to the pump. And another valve will open the channel to the neutralized room. It will make the brake fluid come into the neutralized room. And you see there are piston and spring, it make the pressure is absorbed by the spring. So the pressure will neutralize. What the result? Right, the brake fluid pressure to the caliper is decrease. It make the caliper release the clamp on the rotor. So that the wheel free from slip. 
to activate the pressure again, we just need reverse it. The valve to the neutralized room should be closed, and the valve to the pump open. Then the pump rotate, so it will increase the fluid pressure, and the brake back to active. It's so simple right? Subscribe our channel to get latest information about automotive and engineering.